Hey there folks, how are you doing? It is Martha Fraser here from MarthaFraser.com and we help people expand and get their business online. So today I want you to join me for my cuppa and today we're talking about your knowledge experience and for a lot of you um, people who are on LinkedIn um, you're probably at the stage of your life where you probably have at least 10 years experience um, in a certain field um, of, of course there's going to be people with fewer years experience but what I want to talk to you about today is when you're expanding your business online um, one of the first areas that you really do need to do is to have a look at all of the years of experience you've got behind you and sometimes by the time you've gotten to the point where you're at you have possibly taken your experience for granted all of your knowledge everything you've achieved um, all of your successful projects, um, successful programs, all of your great testimonials, um, depending in the field that you work in. So let me just tell you a little bit about when I got my business first online. Um, it was around 10 years ago and um, at the time we were thinking about moving to the UK because the recession had hit. I had been made redundant. My husband was working in the UK and at the time I had a new baby and I was like okay I'm really passionate about I had just qualified as a nutritional therapist at 14 years as a software engineer behind me and I said okay I, I had just been so passionate about nutritional therapy because it had, had actually changed my health and that was the reason I got into it because I had some health issues that I needed to address so at the time I just wanted to share my passion I wanted to share how food can change your life so I just started sharing and sharing and sharing and eventually I gained a following of people who also were, were interested in this and eventually I put that business online and what I've seen over the years with my clients is that they've built up a business. They, it's a brick and mortar business. A lot of people come in with brick and mortar businesses or some people now are beginning to come in with online businesses. But the one thing that I have found is that um, before you bring something online, before you create a digital program or a digital product, there is nothing that really does beat live experience with real people. So a lot of the time I will say to people, OK, let's do this in a group. Let's do this with real people first, either online or physically in a room, and then let's move it into a program. So the steps to moving your business online are, first of all, being aware of your knowledge and experience. Um, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but some people come to me and they forget how good they are. They forget everything they've achieved because they haven't actually taken the time to sit down with a pen and paper. So what I'd love you to do today is to sit down, grab a pen and paper. Um, I have my notebook here. Um, these are the best tools I think that exist is a cup of tea, a pen and a paper, and just sit down, take 30 minutes out, set the timer on your clock so that you don't spend too long at it. And just think back over all of the years and you can possibly look look at your LinkedIn profile, you can look at your CV and maybe just think about, you know, where is your biggest amount of experience? Where is the biggest amount of knowledge? And by the way, it could be in something that is outside your professional business. It might be a, um, a hobby or something that you're super passionate about. You might teach Taekwondo or something outside of work. Uh, you might have been doing it for 10 years. You know, it could be anything. Um, so just write down your knowledge, write down your experience and really take an audit of it. And one of the things that I like to do is make two columns alongside your list. And one column will be how successful in these different areas have you been? So on a scale of one to 10, how successful have you been? Then do a second column. Um, how do you feel about these areas on a scale of one to 10? Often they correlate how successful and how well you feel about a project will often relate to how successful it was, right? So write that down and then think about, okay, which part of my business do I really love? Am I super excited about? And that I would love to expand online. Um, 
And just writing this down, first of all, it makes you feel good about yourself because you, you have forgotten probably half that is on the list. It makes you realize how much experience you have and how much you have to share, how much knowledge you have um, and how much you can probably help people around the world. So to give you an example of one of the things that I often think about myself is that because a lot of experts come to me to help them expand their business online, um, I often then use them. I often become their client because they're really so good. Um, like uh, the one lady who is working with me at the moment, um, Gronia, she has a yoga practice. She put her business online and I am now doing her yoga classes online. Um, I had another lady last year who did um, incredible uh, therapy work. I did some work with her and got incredible transformation from it. Really enjoyed it. Um, it just shows that you may think one of the biggest blocks that I hear from people about putting their knowledge and experience online and their expertise is they say, well, there's tons of people doing this. Why would I do it? Um, and one of the one of the reasons why you would do it is that no one will do it the way you do it. So this morning, um, I normally do um, my yoga with uh, the girl who is my client and she had ran out of videos and I said, oh, I'll just go online and I'll see if I can find. I spent an hour looking for videos. I didn't get a proper practice and I really love the style of this girl. And this is why you would go to someone. So I just said to her, I said, will you please make more videos? Because I said, I love the way you do it and blah, 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 blah. And there is an internet full of yoga videos, but yet I still want to go back to how she does it because I like the way she does it. So whatever you have to teach, just really believe in you, believe in your experience, believe in that the way you do it is going to be your way. Um, and it's not going to be... Um, completely the same as anyone else because the skills that I have so I have 14 years background in software engineer I have a, uh, a diploma in nutritional therapy counseling um, I have a couple of other qualifications that have brought me into given me a skill set I've 10 years working online that has given me all of this has given me an incredible skill set to work with people in a compassionate loving way to really help bring the best of them out, to help them shine a line, to show their brilliance, not to be afraid to do videos, to really encourage them to come out of themselves so that they can share their skills, share their knowledge. So this is my unique skill set. Everyone has a unique skill set. So when you begin to realize that there's someone out there who needs your experience, Maybe you've got 30, 40 years experience and there's someone starting out who, if they had the shortcuts that you have learned over the years, it would propel their career or their life or their family um, in, in such a way that um, they would save them time, save them pain, save, save them money, save them stress. So beginning to get your business online is first an awareness about your knowledge, your experience and your expertise and realizing that you have all of that and it's time to share it. Um, so just maybe grab that pen and paper and see what comes out of it. Just spend some time writing down all of the projects, the skills you have. And it may not even be a project. It might be that you love um, training people. It might be that you love public speaking. It might be that you love Excel sheets. It might be that you love um, organizing events. It could be any small part of your business that if you were to expand that one part, you know, so really just, you know, think out of the box, write down all your projects, all your years of experience, and then put in some little bit of some extras that you really love those parts of your job um or your business that you really love so that's it for me today i hope this video um helps you and i will talk to you soon have a great day bye